love it at night time. So cool. Is this the last one? Sheesh. Is that the last one? Yep, I was just told that's the last one. There he is. Two. What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Considering the fact that this was really just my New York trip. And I really only recorded the one place because we had a lot to do that day. Uh, first of all, the drive up was insane. I swear to God, it kept, GPS just kept taking me in different directions just to get there faster because there's so much traffic as it always is, either taking the tunnel or taking the bridge, either one, getting into New York can be a pain in the ass, but I had to get into the tunnel. That was nuts but still regardless i went to my we went to our parking spot we made it to tamashi nations exactly at my appointment time of 5 30. Uh, it was crazy uh so we made it we stood in line for about i'd maybe between five to ten minutes because there was a line of appointments uh at the 5 30 time slot and they actually had a standby line on the opposite side and that standby line was pretty big. It was pretty big considering for at that time frame. I was very, very surprised. But th there were so many people for the reservations. So I've been told that the reservations are really only up to the first like 10 days or so for since the grand opening. So I know within this upcoming week, the reservations should be lifted. And then anyone can really just walk in and make purchases. But... I'm still happy with the fact that I was able to go and they had a figure that I was looking for, <clears throat> but they did run out, unfortunately. So I will get to that in a second. I am just happy that 
I was able to go. I was able to experience what it was all about. It definitely felt like I walked into like the the show floor at a, a convention for that small amount of space. Seeing the displays, seeing the fact that you can just pick up the item that you want to buy and just bring it to the counter to purchase. <laughs> that was cool considering the fact that this is to machinations. This is SH figure arts. This is these are statues. It, it, it is what you you know you like about this company uh the figures especially figure arts i'm a figure arts collector considering all anime related characters but i had i enjoyed it my family was with me so my kids and my wife were there they got to see everything what i would what they would normally see uh if they went to a convention too so i enjoyed it this is their third flagship store in the world so New York is now number three. There's two other ones, of course, but this is awesome. I could go to this store right in Times Square and just visit and God forbid, you know, buy more stuff. So I still had fun. Uh, we we went, the, the reason why we were, we, I didn't go to other stores was because right afterwards we went to dinner and then we went to a show. We actually took a Broadway show. We actually watched Anne Juliet, which was an amazing show. Absolutely amazing show. I recommend it. If you grew up in like the 90s for that pop music. So, I mean, it's not one of my favorites, but I still enjoyed it. They're all recognizable songs. So my wife and my kids absolutely had a great time with the show. It was it was amazing. Just seeing a live performance is always amazing to me. To me, but to get to what I picked up, here we go. Tamashi Nations, look at that. Get little black bag that they sealed with tape, by the way. So, uh, this was a great time, an absolutely great time. I'm so happy I got to experience this. I hope one day you guys too. I will be going back to the store during New York Comic Con, because God, that's like in like two, three weeks. And they're supposedly announcing an exclusive for the store during New York Comic Con. So that's making a hike to back and forth to Javits Center, it's crazy. So there was this little advertisement. There's the store exclusive right there. This is basically a fan. <laughs> That's what it is, but there you go. That is what I was going for right there. Goku right there. Then there was some more. So as you can see, the three different stores, Tokyo, Shanghai, New York is now a part of it. But there you have that. You can see all that stuff. So that's like their little advertisements. So let me kind of put this down here. The, uh, the exclusive was this little guy sun goku tamashi nation store so there's that specific box right there but it's called the innocent challenger this i i used to have the goku with the nimbus cloud so i sold that a long time ago but i have this one back it's got newer head sculpts newer face plates stuff like that really cool absolutely love this this is awesome so there is the first one the second one Look at that. Samurai Sword from Chainsaw Man. If you kind of see the style of the character, you could tell Chainsaw Man. But this, I definitely needed my villain, per se, for my Chainsaw Man and uh, for power. Because this is really cool. Glad to have seen that figure there that I could just easily pick it up and buy it. It's awesome. Which, by the way, I spent over a hundred bucks. So you got this free little acrylic. It's like an acrylic stand. These are very, very popular in in uh, Japan and possibly, you know, Hong Kong. But these little acrylics, this identifies the Tamashi Nation store in New York. That's pretty cool. That's a little something here. But the last thing I bought is in a box. If you know what these boxes are. Uh, these are like the shipper boxes, but this one is the exclusive edition Jiraiya 
right there. Jiraiya from Naruto. Uh, yeah, I'm going to open this up. And there it is. Jiraiya. Really awesome. Considering I'm, I have the Shippuden characters, I'm absolutely going to, you know, stick with this. Because there's a whole new bunch of characters that will be coming out. But never having a dry figure, I might as well have picked it up because they did have it available. They said they were going to have SDCC exclusives. The ones that I really wanted from Dragon Ball, they weren't there anymore. They were sold out. It's unfortunate, but it's okay. Maybe New York Comic Con, they might have some. We'll see what happens. But to pick up Jiraiya, this is cool. Look at the different face plates you get. You got five, five different face plates. Awesome. Really awesome. And one more thing. I did get some mail. This is important because most of you guys know that when I go to New York Comic Con, typically I volunteer for Read Pop so that way I can get a free pass and I work for them on certain days. So I have a schedule and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be working for them this year. So I made sure, like I always do every year, I made sure to buy some tickets. So I have my tickets. These are for three days. I don't believe I'll be going on Sunday. If I do, I'll pick up a ticket for right now. But here are my, my badges. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Anime-related badges. Look at that. Hell's Paradise, Spy Family, Jujutsu Kaisen. Really cool to see that stuff but there are my new york comic-con tickets i am going i hope you guys are going too if not that's all right make it a bucket list new york comic-con is one of the greatest shows on the east coast so check that out whenever you can for those of you that are going make sure you find me i will be everywhere i'm going to enjoy myself for once this is the first year that i'm not working so i'm going to enjoy it and there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, you know, seeing the Tamashi Nation store because that's that was really cool. I tried to capture as much as I could. I know I was just going in and out, in and out. I didn't really focus in each individual, like, display. But I'm pretty sure you got the gist of it, and I hope you enjoyed it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. On our way to 6,000 subscribers, so help me out with that. I would greatly appreciate it. Hope to see you guys soon, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.